<laughs> yeah. I have nothing to say. Nothing to say. <laughs> yeah. Hi there, my name is Joe. And I'm Jessica. We are homeschooling natural living entrepreneurs. This is a story of how we balance it all for the freedom to live our lives devoted to our family and faith. Thanks for stopping by, subscribe, and come on in. And action. What's up everybody? So today we are unboxing this palette right here. It's an Amazon customer returns palette that we got from Southern Liquidation. Is this, this is the second palette that we have purchased from them that we are unboxing. We paid $350 for it. We went and picked this up. Uh, so we calculated a cost across the three palettes at $75 a piece. So we are all in on this palette for $425. The last palette we unboxed, it didn't quite meet our expectations, but today we're still going after our goal of doubling our money, so we're shooting for 850 bucks. Let's get into it. They're stacked nice, they're nice and square. Let's get these two toys here because they're right on top. And uh, yeah, let's do it. Do a quick search in here. I'm not gonna do too much, but just see what I'm working with here, making sure at least there's you know parts. Okay. So looking at it, we've got the two vehicles, we've got I'm gonna have to like go through the instructions and double check and make sure all the parts are there. Um, and there are instructions, more pieces. All right, so assuming that this is all good, um, it depends on how much it costs, but chances are this is definitely gonna be a really nice local sale. This item here is selling for $39.67, so about 40 bucks. Assuming that all of this stuff is good, we can, we can probably sell this locally for 20 bucks. Okay, the second one is this Fortnite Nerf gun. It's a sweet gun. Looks pretty cool. Um, I that show Joe in. <laughs> I know, right? She's gonna want it. Um, it's hard to get it out of the box, but this has obviously been used. I'm going to inspect it when it comes to listing it, uh, making sure that all the parts are there and making sure that it works. I might even shoot Joe in the face. Not maybe not the face. That's a little dangerous. <laughs> uh, why so aggressive? I know. I don't know why I said face. Maybe like the backside or something. Did I, I make don't know. You, did I make you mad? No, I don't know why I said that. That was really, that Sorry, was really mean. mean. I say. apologize. <laughs> so let's find out how much this dude is worth so we can kind of get an idea. So this item is selling online for $51 to $53, somewhere around there. So that's actually pretty sweet. So assuming that this works and everything is good, I'll sell it for $25. If there's any cosmetic damage or anything like that, I'll drop it $5 to $10. Here, it's like at the Hamilton Beach. My guess is a blender, but that's why we unbox these because you never know what you're going to get until you unbox it. Not a blender. What is it? It's a coffee maker. Ooh, well yeah. that could have been a second guess. Yep. Yeah. Maybe a little espresso machine. Ooh, nice. Not really sure what that is. Some, I don't know, some coffee maker. It looks like it has been used, gently used. You can see some wear down here. I actually see some, is that denting? Yeah, that is a small little dent there. Okay, so and, you know, uh, cosmetic yeah. damage, can't sell it as new open box for sure. I think, I mean, you can look inside, it looks pretty clean. I mean, it doesn't really look to have been used because it's where the coffee would go. You'd see some discoloration and stuff. So I don't think this has ever been brewed in, but somehow it is scratched up. Uh, let's check, see how much it's worth. So when we do price checks, we always use the Amazon buying app to check prices. 
you just go to the Amazon app. A lot of people ask us what we do because it's got a little barcode feature. We just hit the little camera, barcode, scan it, pops right up. So awesome. So this is on sale. It's normally 70 bucks on sale for $45. I'm thinking 20 bucks. I don't even know. What is this? What this what is. is <laughs> Oh! Hey, it's a, uh, it's a baby thingy. Isn't is it? it? No. To like keep them from rolling off? But, but that's huge, babe. Like the baby is not gonna, unless it's like for a bassinet. I don't know, dude. Or the, maybe the top of a crib. Maybe it's a crib mattress, could be. I mean, it's it's memory foam. It's got discoloration. You know, I don't think I'm gonna want to put my baby on it if that's what this is. Oh, it's a dog bed. That's oh. what it is. Yep, yeah, it's a dog bed. So. Babies, no. Doggies, okay. But I don't know, maybe some people out there would never put their dog on this. I don't know. Uh, I'm thinking we can get five bucks for this at our flea market. So I'm a little worried about this one, but I'm gonna grab it anyway because it's big and it's in front, but it's upside down. And it's tell the <laughs> box says to keep it upright. So I don't know if I should flip it over. We know that never works. <laughs> I know, I'm gonna, okay, so it's been open on this side. So. All right, let's do this. Da -na 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 -na. Oh, that does not bode well. Look at that. It's got like a. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh man. Huh. That's broken. The, yeah, but yeah. Uh, I like the lampshade though. We could still yeah. sell the lampshade. We, we can that out. Um, somebody will, would buy a lampshade like that. It's pretty. And uh, as for this thing, that's a neat little lamp. Too. I mean, it's cute. I like it. I would use this. And it's yeah. big. It's it's pretty tall. I mean, you know, uh, I just don't know how to fix something like this. So I don't know about that. I don't know. I don't know what to do with something like this. Um. I don't know, babe. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, this is where, like, we will probably get a million suggestions from you guys because you guys are awesome at suggesting how to fix stuff. We just don't have time to do all those repairs. So, uh, uh, if y'all are interested in buying this or any any of the items that are on this palette, check out the Facebook group, which is down in the description. It's where we put all of the items from the palettes. And we'll put this up for auction. Maybe somebody want to buy it for a cheap price. We'll probably start auction off at five bucks, charge for shipping. Maybe somebody will buy it as an art project. So. And if nobody and if nobody buys it, then we'll just part it out and sell the lampshade. Grab. No, I'm not grabbing that. Now I'm grabbing it. One box we know. Hold. That's heavier than I thought. One box we know, and one box that jingles that we don't know. A, uh, oh. a little bitty scooter it's a baby that's been scooter. used and uh <laughs> it's been definitely used you can see some some scratching yeah. and which that's going to be inside like that i don't know if it has all the pieces in here it's got the little thing here It's one of the things where I don't feel safe selling it just because I don't want to put somebody else's kid in danger if it doesn't work or if it's broken. Uh, but it's looking like all the pieces are here. Um, so I'm thinking this is, we could probably get, you know, 10 bucks for this at the yeah. food market. It's a Bissell Steam Shot. I don't want to suppose that it's one of those little steamers that steam clothes and such, uh, but I think it might be that. You got the hose. Looking inside, I've never seen one like this nice before. Oh, that's fancy. It's been used and uh, something that's gonna have to be tested. Uh, put some water in there, then empty the water. A lot of work into making sure that this is resale ready. Uh, so let's look up the price. These are retailing brand new for 40 bucks. 
this one's been used. If it's in working condition, I think we can get $15 for it. I'm trying to pull stuff off the, off, like, you know, make it. It was fra fragile. <laughs> oh, I don't like the sound of that. Something's shaky in there too. Uh, Y'all hear that? That sounded like glass. Y'all, I hate hearing glass because it's so hard to dispose of. It's so dangerous. It uh, brings back memories too yeah. for me. There was a time where we had a $4,000 sink uh, off the overturn pallet and we made the mistake of searching it up before we looked at it and uh, it was completely shattered. It was shattered and it was just very It was a gut punch. Um, okay. Oh, okay. Hey! Plastic tubs. Plastic tubs. Uh, this one's got... This one's got a crack in it. Yeah, I'm seeing a little break here in this one also. So maybe there'll be enough matches. Maybe we can sell a couple. Yeah. Um, I mean, how much are bins worth? Okay, so these guys are selling for $59.99. We're what? Yes, we're obviously not going to be able to get that much for them. How many is in there? There are, I don't know. I think there's four. Four? Okay. I think there's four. So if we can get $5 for a good match that's not broken, yeah. I'd be happy with that. Yeah, so $5 each. Yeah, I'm just going to assume that two of them are probably good. So $10. Hey. Get off your phone. Let's get I to know. work. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Let's go with this one because I like opening the stuff that you don't know what you're gonna get. Sounds like plastic. You better be careful because one of these days you might shake it and break it. I know. Shake it, bake. What is that? That's I'm seeing Hot it. Wheels. Ooh. This may never leave our house. Alligator. <laughs> rawr, rawr. I sound like dinosaur from Peppa Pig. <laughs> This and, is uh, actually kind of cool. I don't is. know what it is. And it's been used a lot. Like some little toddler like They really Lucas, use this. They used the heck out of this sucker. And then when they were done, like, let's ship it back and get a new one. Well, here's another thing to think about. Uh, it's going to be almost impossible. It's going to take forever to figure out. There's no paper in here. This box yeah. doesn't have any, like, I mean, look at that code dude. or anything. I mean, if you can figure out how to make it work, we'll just keep it. Yeah. Uh, but if you knew what it was, a little pro tip that you could do is part it out. Uh, if it's not a complete set because parents may lose the alligator, it may break and they want the Hot Wheels set, so they may go to eBay looking for Mr. Alligator. Rawr! Uh, but we're gonna say zero bucks because we just don't know, uh, and this is a lot of mess to go through. I'm gonna grab these two things, yeah. No. Yeah. No, you're not. Hey, look, I'm my own woman. I do, you do what you want? I do what I want. Let me put this guy here. You want the fresh flakes? Is that a chicken on there? Uh, fresh flakes for fresh. chicken. Is that like frosted flakes, but for chickens? I wish. Okay, this, this particular guy is not on uh, Amazon anymore, but this bedding sells for around $13, so we'll just, you know, sell it for five bucks at the flea market. We've got a lot of people who have chickens here. They jump on that. I didn't realize what we grabbed, but this is cool because I, I love, uh, you, dude, decorative stuff sells so well here. It does. That's um, why I got so excited. So, but, you know, don't get too excited. These are returns. They are. The chances that it's broken could be pretty high. So, we'll see what happens. Oh my gosh, it's, I can, I love the colors already. I hope it's not broken. We don't need it. Oh, but babe, look at those <laughs> colors. Uh, those that are nice, and colorful gold. balls. I mean, they are. But see, I broke the I broke the padding already. We can sell it locally. We don't need padding to sh to oh. sell it down the road. Oh, uh, I seen it. I saw it. That's a bummer. Yep, look at that right there. That's a bummer. That's pretty too. 
Oh man, it's kind of heavy duty. Yeah. I mean, this is one of those things where it's like, it was padded so well, they had to have dropped this. It looks used. Like, look, it's got scratches on that. No, 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 that's from the, uh, uh, the styrofoam. That's from the styrofoam. All right. But can I keep these balls? Yeah, I guess. I Are you gonna throw those at me too? I'm sorry, that yeah. was an accident. We could sell those balls if we wanted to sell. We could probably get, you know, four or five bucks for the two balls. You think? Uh, at the flea market booth. Yeah, somebody will buy those balls. All right, so it's only it's only like 40, 40 it's forty seven dollars, not only forty seven dollars, yeah. but it's forty seven dollars. So, you know, it's not a huge huge loss. We'll sell the balls for you know four dollars a piece, so eight dollars. Yeah. I guess I'll grab a swaddle me. Baby stuff sells yeah. well. And uh, this little, whoops, this little Fair. chocolate fountain. I wonder if you put cheese fondue in it. You probably could. Uh, I like cheese. You do like cheese. And uh, I don't know, just something like this. I got a, I got a bad feeling that somebody on a budget wedding, <laughs> or a, on a cheap, wedding budget they maybe not even a wedding baby shower they rented this for the weekend and then they returned it after the wedding and it looks like that is the case so oh that's gross yeah, it is so there's lots of chocolate on this there's chocolate in the bowl in the fountain on the cord uh there's just chocolate everywhere you see nice build up down there like they did rent this thing uh, and we don't have the time to be going and cleaning this before we sell it. So I don't know if anybody out there would want to buy it. We'll put it in the group to auction off uh, and somebody can pay shipping. If somebody wants to clean it, then more power to you. Uh, but we'll start in there for like five bucks. So let's look at Swaddle Me. We like baby stuff. And it's in a little baggie. Good news. All right. Ooh, so. how cute. You get a lot of baby stuff is that people have babies and they have little baby showers. They sign up for like gift, gift registry on Amazon. They get too many or they get like items and they send items back. And uh, I hope this is one of those items. It looks beautiful. Yeah. So. It doesn't look to ever have been used. No, it looks and, great. Uh, it looks good. No so, staining, no. no nothing. Great no. condition. So that's exciting. Yay. It's a win. All right. So retail is 62 bucks. I'm thinking 40 bucks. This box is extremely light. And then I'm gonna grab this thing before we forget about it. All right. Uh, but it is an elongated toilet bowl seat. So it's one of those toilet bowl seats that go real, real long. Sell these for five bucks. We've got a few of them at the flea market booth. They, they, it takes a minute for them to sell, but we'll sell them for five. What could it be? <laughs> What's in the box? It's a very big box and it feels like there's something really small inside of it or something. Um, it is a bin, I think, of some sort. Okay. Yeah. So, it's a bin. <laughs> Dog food bin. Nice. It's actually And it's cute. broken. Is it broken? Yeah. It is broken. See? Yeah. The pieces are, yeah. So. That sucks. That's a big box to be a broken item. It is, but you know, and it, and it, and it stinks for like the profitability of this, but I could use this. We're homeschooling, a homeschooling family. We're always looking to be able to store stuff in bins. So, I mean, we're gonna call it zero because, I mean, you can't even use it for anything, you know, really. So I'm yeah. just gonna use it myself. All right, so we're halfway through this palette and I would love to be able to tell you guys I'm super excited, but I am not. Um, you know, like I said, we paid 350 for this palette um, and really we're all in for 425, so we're supposed to be making 850 on this. We're halfway through the palette and we're at 168. Uh, so we're not, at this point, you know, if we don't find really good stuff in the next half of the palette, then we've lost money on this one. And uh, I'm not, I am not thrilled to say the least. So we got a 
Yeah, I, I think it's toilet paper. It looks to be toilet paper, but we better open it up because you never know in case somebody used something else. And then we've got a case of brawny. If this is toilet paper and paper towels, we will be keeping it for the house. So it will not add to our profitability, but will save us lots of money from spending at the store. And it is for sure toilet paper. Awesome. It's Angel Soft. I like it. Uh, score for a lot of people are like, you know, you know, when you think about it, you know, we could spend money to purchase this at the store or we could just keep it off the pallet since we've already purchased it at a discount anyway. Yeah. So looking at the brawny, it is paper towels. So yes, so two boxes, that's like probably a $20 box. This is probably a $20 box if we were to sell it, but it ain't worth it. This is a little frustrating. Uh, we are happy to save the money from having to not buy toilet paper and paper towels for a while, but we're so far in the hole on the pallet at this point that I was hoping that we can get some items that we could actually sell and put in our pocket. All right, so this is Zionist. Uh, which I love um, because it sells so well. And secondly, it actually says a two-step comfort foam pet stairs. So not only is it a good brand that resells super well, but it is also, as long as it is not broken, it is also pet supplies. So hopefully, uh, you know, this will be really good and we can add it, try to at least try to break even at this point. Like, I, I don't know, at this point, that's like my goal now, so. Um, it's still in its original packaging. Yeah. Doesn't even look like it's been opened. So, so that is really cool. Really cool. So this is the pet stair. I guess one fold on top of the other. Yeah. Um, to make a very small stair for beds. Sweet. I like how you're holding your tongue. <laughs> is that the trick? <laughs> <laughs> There's another one over here. <laughs> now I'm self-conscious about how I'm holding my tongue. Okay, uh, so this is a this is $24.99. So we can sell this for $15 at the flea market booth, and I think that would be good. Yep. I'm gonna grab this big box here. It's another box, and uh, it's a big box that is light. So that doesn't bode well. Oh my gosh, what if it's another <laughs> what and, if it's uh, another bin? Here goes a very heavily used little kids item that goes over the little Oh, that's interesting. Yep. Yeah. So uh, I'm thinking two bucks at the flea market booth. Yeah, I can clean that up pretty quick. Yep. Yeah. So let's look at this one though. It's, it's light. There's nothing in there. Oh. <laughs> My goodness. Boom, boom. Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> Does it work though? Because this palette sucks. Uh, it's missing so many darts. That's okay. Uh, oh, wrong way. This thing works. This is how I feel about this palette is this right here. You're ridiculous. Yeah. I wish I could just blow it up because this palette, uh, we're having fun unboxing, it's cool stuff, but it's a total waste of money uh, for this. So I'm thinking 10 bucks we can get for this. Uh, it doesn't have the bullets, that many bullets. So 10 bucks. <laughs> that doesn't look good. No, I just, you know, at this point, like I, like just emotionally speaking, like I am just feeling very irritated. Yeah. It's part of the game, y'all. Like I'm not sitting here like, I'm so angry. Yeah. But you know, when, when you do this for a living, like the risk is always there. It is always there. It doesn't matter how long you've been doing this. Uh, you could do, you know, we did our due diligence with these pallets and with this liquidator. Um, and still, we are where we are right now. So the, the risk is not... <laughs> Another plastic bin. I am done opening <laughs> these ominous boxes. <laughs> Another plastic bin. Another broken plastic yeah. bin. Yeah. Another broken plastic bin. <laughs> yeah. I have nothing to say. Nothing to say. Yeah.
What you're seeing with this pallet is uh, a lot of the big boxes was all broken stuff, uh, which sucks. You can't make money off of broken items specifically, but when the broken items are in big, big boxes uh, and taking up a lot of the space on the pallet, there's no money to be made and we're experiencing that today. So we got some cat litter. Woohoo! And we are actually thinking about getting the kids some cats. I'm Shh. whispering. They won't watch this video. Uh, uh. But if you don't have cats, you guys have told us that you can use this to clean up oil spills in the garage. Uh, but we're just gonna hang on to this. I mean, why not? We're already in the hole. Yes. There's no recovering. No recovering. So you don't have to. I'm gonna grab this box that says fragile, but looks like it's been ran over uh, <laughs> by a semi-truck. <laughs> oh, oh boy. God. It looks to be. Whew, it's uh. Ugh. What is it? I think it? it's a burnt up. Uh, it's a fan, but it has quite the odor. It's got like oil or some substance on there, and uh, it's kind of burning my nostrils. Oh, <laughs> I can't look at this. I mean, look at this other <laughs> side. What is this? Stop touching it. And, uh, Put it away. What is that? Babe, uh. I'm stop. Make it. <laughs> oh. Thanks for opening that box for me, babe. <laughs> I took one for the team. I may be making a grave mistake because these are organizer bins. Oh, great. At least I know what I'm getting into, you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I am a positive and- Freezer and refrigerator. Yes. Oh, we need some of them. We do. I'm a positive and optimistic person by nature. Have always been. Um, but I do sometimes feel frustration. Um, yeah. And this is how I'm feeling right now. It does not mean that I'm, you know, gonna stop doing this or that, you know, I don't have, you know, faith. I mean, these look good. Hmm. Yeah. But we're keeping them. Because why not, you know? Like, why not keep them? Uh, we, we, yeah. I've actually. Is that for eggs? Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. I've actually been pricing stuff like this, like cereal boxes and stuff like that, because my kids are becoming way more self-sufficient. And to be able to sort out their snacks and have like easily accessible foods and stuff to kind of help them gain that independence. Um, so actually I will keep these. I'll find out how much they're gonna sell for here in a second. But I will keep these um, because I was gonna spend the money to buy them anyway. Yeah. So it's, it has nothing to do with the condition of this palette. I actually did need something like this and have been shopping for probably about four or five months ever since my oldest started cooking and my youngest started making her own snacks. Yep. We got a Faber, Barberware, Faberware. Ooh. These range anywhere from 10 to $15 brand new. It's got some scratches on it. Uh, put it at the flea market booth, price it for five bucks and uh, watch it sell. Uh, then we got a little shoe rack that uh, the box is pretty well damaged. Uh, who knows about the contents inside. Uh, shoe racks like this, they don't sell, but 25 to 30 bucks brand new anyways. So this is something that would have to go in our flea market booth uh, for probably around 10 bucks if it's all there and it's not broken. It looks pretty though. Yeah. So, I see some broken poles. Is uh, Oh, yeah, it's broken. Can it be fixed? I mean, it's not worth our time, babe. Somebody, if they're a welder, could weld these in. But I was it, just asking if they could like be put back uh, in there or no, if they snapped. They've been snapped off. No. So, yes, these could be fixed uh, by somebody who has time. That's just not and us. equipment. We don't even yeah. have the equipment for so, that. Zero dollars. I like what I'm seeing on this. It is Ooh. an office chair. Sweet. Um, it's definitely been opened. So, you know, chances are this is going to be something we have to put together. Because um, it's just so hard. It's hard to sell these at the flea market but not put together. Yep. We've done it before. 
but something that should sell very, very quickly and normally does when it's put together, takes. it took probably, the last office chair we had took probably over a month. Yep. Oh, snap. Well, there goes my, uh... There goes the instructions, Joe, you're doing yeah. it blind. Uh-huh. Uh... All right, so, but you know what? Like, first impressions, it's a little dirty uh, from just from being in the box. Yep. But I see, I see parts that are yep. enclosed. This looks like it can be cleaned off. We can probably sell it used like new on yeah. both either Facebook Marketplace or on uh, the, at the flea market booth. Yeah. Black. It's actually a really cute chair. I'm trying to find the price, though. Okay, so this is actually kind of kind of nice. This is a uh, ranging new, anywhere from one hundred and ten to one hundred and twenty. What? The, actually, there's one on here that's one hundred and twenty-six. Wow. So that's really great. Looking at this, it's been used in our area. They don't like to pay a lot for used office chairs, so we could probably get fifty bucks for it. I'm gonna unbox this, and I'm a little scared after the fan debacle just a few moments ago uh, that this is a Breeze XL cat litter all-in-one system, uh, woo, woo. which is kind of cool. Uh, it's, it is scary though, because I don't want to have to deal, which, you know, if we get a cat, you know what I mean, but still, I don't want to smell it. So open up the box, looking at it. I'm scared. I know. Just don't want it to be used. It has been used. Uh. And uh, got a little residue right there. Um, I'm not sure how that would get on the side. I don't know, but uh, you probably should wash your hands. Thing, don't touch anything. I should wash my hands. It's got some cat litter tablets in there. Um, so yeah, it's been used. Some stray cat hairs in the bottom. Uh, I don't even know at this point. Uh, I just feel like throwing all the stuff away and getting rid of everything and just cutting our losses and moving on. So we know used litter boxes, you can't really sell them. You can technically, but it stresses out cats. Like they can still smell the odors of the previous cats. Uh, and cats are kind of interesting like that. Uh, so we're gonna just get rid of it because I just don't feel like dealing with this stuff anymore. It's garbage. Uh, I'm just ready to move on with this palette, cut it as a loss, and move on. Uh, this is the, the last item. It is a booster seat, so I'm hoping that it is it has not been like, you know, used heavily or anything like that. Uh, Graco is a reliable brand. It's a basic brand, so it's not gonna be super high end, but I can imagine it's probably gonna be either $100 or a little bit under for something like this. Um, I see that the manufacture date is last year, so we've got it's got plenty of time on there. And uh, it's been used. It's not even what's on the box. See, this right no. here is the Basin Fashion uh, item which I yep. already looked up and this item right here is not available on Amazon it's got similar colors that are different prices but this one was actually a $99 item this item in here is not that item no. also if you look really carefully you can find uh, what looks I you, Leak. You, they food <laughs> or some kind of blowout some kind of issue in there it looks like somebody bought a new car seat opened up a return and returned the old one. So yeah. this is, um, and this right here, the manufacturer day, I mean, it's, I just don't feel comfortable selling a used car seat. I don't know what has happened to this car seat. It could have been in an accident, which lowers the integrity of this car seat. And I'm not going to put a child's life at risk for me to make a few extra dollars. So this is zero. And that is it guys. So remember we were all in including expenses for $425. That is the minimum we needed to make to break even. But we didn't get there. No. No, we didn't get there. We made it to 200 and $232. $232. There were several items that we kept for ourselves because it's things that we use all the time. So that could have been in there maybe to 270 bucks, but 232 bucks is harsh. Somebody said it best in our last live stream that whenever they purchase from a new liquidator, they expect that first purchase to be a loss because you're learning a new 
relationship. You're learning about that liquidator and we learned just that with this purchase. So we thank you guys so much for joining in. Yeah. Uh, don't forget to catch our vlogs if you're interested in learning on how we yeah. sell these items. Uh, and until next time, peace. peace.